morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog let me know how you think this is going because I'm trying out different things with my editing and with my filming trying to be a bit more creative just so that you know it really challenges me to want to do it every day because just carrying a camera around is not 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 challenging are you okay That's what it is. Oh, my bubba. Poor little baby. Oh, my baby boy. Yeah. You poor thing. Mummy, kiss it better. There you go. Just let me know how you, how you guys are liking it. Give it a thumbs up, all that sort of thing, because it's really helpful. Um, and yeah. I woke up at about quarter past five this morning. I've I was in bed until half past eight, but I did take my tablets early. Hence, how I've managed to get up and be so productive so early. I think it's just sort of giving me that extra little boost. I'm feeling ready to take on the day. I'm feeling really, really productive, and I've even made myself a list um, and guess what I'm actually filming on my camera instead of filming on my phone today because I managed to get a I managed to get a power adapter now I'm gonna edit for a bit and then once the washing's done I want to take that upstairs to the tumble dryer and then later after I've done a bit of tidying hopefully that's like one of my major goals for today is to do a bit of tidying. I want to have a bath and do a face mask. But anyway, I feel like if I keep doing these things, if I get into this routine of, you know, having things to do, I'm like on a list to check off, I think I'm going to feel a lot more productive and also feel a lot more motivated to to get going because that's part of the difficulty of being chronically ill is you're tired all the time so it's difficult to like find the motivation to get out of being too tired to do things anyway I am going to do a bit of editing I might keep the camera rolling while I'm doing that and just you know time lapse it or something and then I will come back to you guys when I've got some sort of update. Okay, bye. And fingers crossed that fixes everything. Because I really don't know what's gone on. I haven't made any changes. I was on it last night at about one o'clock in the morning, editing. I didn't make any changes. I didn't do anything that I don't normally do. There weren't any updates, so I don't know what's gone wrong. But even like plugging in headphones doesn't work. So I'm a bit worried. This is doing my head in. It's working. It's working. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. That was a stress and a half. And all I had to do was actually just shut the computer down and power it off instead of restarting it. Windows tells you just to restart it. Like the Microsoft website tells you just to restart it. But I looked on some like weird ass forum somewhere and it told, someone said on it sometimes shutting it down fully fixes the problem and that would normally be the first thing I'd do but I'm a bit foggy so oh my god I can't believe that happened that was ridiculous anyway 
Now I'm going to edit until the washing finishes. So, wish me luck and hope that nothing breaks now. So, I've done about as much editing as I can stand to do right now. I'm actually getting pretty tired. But I'm not going to keep up on my list. So, I'm going to go and take the washing upstairs now and put that in the tumble dryer. And I think I'll probably stay upstairs for a little bit just to you know, give my body a little bit of rest, so I don't want it to be going up and down, up and down the stairs too quickly. Whilst I was editing some posts came, and I'm really, really excited because it's the wool that I'm going to knit um, a Christmas present for someone. It's actually Chris's sister, she's expecting, and she doesn't know, or want to know, what gender her baby is yet, so I've decided to knit her a baby blanket like for the cot or the pram or whatever and this is the wall it's so pretty it's all different kinds of baby colors so it's mostly blue yellow and pink but then there's also some uh, purple and green in there as well and it's really soft so I hope that once it's all knit up it or crochet because I crochet I don't knit so who likes knitting um but yeah once it's all like knit up that it won't look too girly or too boyish just in case it's one or the other wow I got really sidetracked then didn't I let's take the washing upstairs and then I'll catch up with you guys again and cigarettes laying around the room I don't mind a little mess just want to stay with you and we'll do anything that we want today won't be scared of falling down no more so take me away So I think I might have overdone it just a little bit. I'm feeling very worse for wear, to be honest. I'm gonna I'm going to go downstairs and probably rest for an hour or two. It's what time is it? Oh, my phone. Yes, I am. It is half past 12, so it's getting on to lunch time. I might see if I can have a fruit pot or something like that. And then I think what I'm going to do is have a little look for a pattern for the blanket and start on the blanket because I've got everything I need to start on the blanket now. And I'll probably do that until Chris gets home or until the washing finishes. Depends on how I feel. But yeah. And I still need to ring Drake Circus 
and also uh, Drake Circus is a shopping mall where I live. Um, so I need to ring them quickly and ask about Friday and also, um, sorry, if you don't know what I'm going on about with ringing the mall, they do something called shop mobility. Uh, so people who have mobility issues such as myself, you can, instead of, I guess most people would have their own wheelchair anyway, if they needed it. Um, but instead of taking your wheelchair into the city centre, you know, in your car or whatever, you just go into the mall, uh, it's like one of the car parks, you park outside the shop mobility centre and then you can borrow a wheelchair, um, so like a motorised wheelchair or a transit wheelchair or I think maybe they do like standard you know, push yourself wheelchairs, which I'm hoping, which is what I need to find out as well. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm calling Drake Circus, because my cousin suggested that it might be a good idea, just in case, because obviously I'm having problems with getting around, and I really need to get out of the house just for my own sanity, and, um, you know, I also need to start doing a bit of Christmas shopping, just so that... I've got it started because at the moment I don't have anything. I haven't even thought about wrapping paper. Um, just in case you didn't know, I'm absolutely obsessed with wrapping Christmas presents. And every year I always plan, like a full month before Christmas, I always plan um, what my theme for wrapping is going to be and all that sort of stuff. I'm probably not going to be able to do anything like that this year. I'll probably just get some wrapping paper from Primark and, you know, whatever's cheapest. But anyway getting off onto a tangent I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna have something to eat my anti-sickness should be just about ready to go because I took about half an hour ago now um, I'm gonna try and eat a fruit pot because I need to eat some fruit and veg and things like that I mean don't get me wrong that's when we have tea like we have veg with it but it's not always like every day and with the fact that I'm not able to eat as much I need to try and eat um, as much nutritious food as I can anyway let's go so I've been knitting for quite a while now um, but uh, Chris has just got home from work and he's taking the dog for a walk again and he likes to take him to the woods just out the back there. I don't know if you can see. Don't know. Um, yeah, he, he likes to take the dog for a, a walk when he gets back from work. Just a quick 10 minute walk. So whilst he's doing that, I'm going to go and run a bath. Um, because he said that he would help me wash my hair. Yeah, I best go run my bath. Um, I'm probably going to switch over to filming on my phone from now. Just because... Um, this has to be plugged in and I don't want to take that in the bath, but yeah. <laughs> I shall show you guys my bath, I guess. Oh, it's going to be so nice.
Hi guys, uh, sorry about my towel, my hair's still wet so I'm too tired to dry it with a blow dryer. Sorry, I'm just having a marshmallow because my blood sugar is a little bit low. Um, I don't normally get low blood sugar but I think it's because I haven't been able to eat very much today. So I'm going to have a marshmallow and hopefully I'll feel better afterwards. I've been really shaky. Um, feeling really weird so but yeah I'm not going to vlog anymore today just because I'm not feeling too good and it's also getting sort of late now so one thing I have been doing is knitting the blanket um it's sort of like pastel rainbow coloured but yeah, I'm probably just gonna relax for the rest of the night. I do need to finish editing yesterday's video and upload that. And I want to get that done before 8 o'clock, it's about 6.30 now, so hopefully I'll be able to get some of that done. I'm off for this evening and I will see you guys tomorrow.